dad puts his two two-year-old girls, they're twins, in the car, ends up driving it off of a cliff. You see it on video. I'm giving you a little bit of a warning now, but the great news is there was a hero police officer who saved everyone. Chanley Painter has more. And a mother was calling in saying her child's father had took her twin two-year-old daughters uh, in his truck and was threatening to drive off our Coronado Bridge. The call came at 4.30 in the morning, Saturday, June 13th. The woman was calling about her husband, Robert Bryans, seen here in a Facebook post in Happier Times. He was also uh, reportedly armed with a handgun. When police caught up with him, instead of stopping, Bryans sped off, heading right for the cliffs. A local reporter posted the dramatic video capturing the moment Brian's truck sells off the road plunging into the ocean. 50, 60 feet below in the water is this truck upside down underwater. We could just see the wheels in the bottom of the truck. But my initial thought is please tell me those girls weren't in that truck because uh, looking at no way anyone could survive. Then Jonathan Weiss, a canine unit police officer, took action. Then I remembered, okay, I have uh, a dog leash in my car that happens to be 100 feet. Other officers arrived and held onto the leash as Weiss repelled off the cliff. About halfway down, I, I kind of got stuck hanging there because I think they were so worried about dropping me, they were holding on too tight, so I'm yelling at them, you've got to just let me go. Um, so they dropped me to the bottom of the cliff. Officer Weiss saw the trio. All three of them were getting knocked up against the cliff because of the waves. Um, I could see them going underwater. Weiss safely swam them back to shore, trying to calm the father. You know, he couldn't believe he didn't die and that, yeah, his intention was that he was going to die and his daughters were going to die with him. Officers rushed the girls to an ambulance and the father was airlifted by helicopter. All three were admitted to the hospital. So he was arrested from, from the moment, you know, I got him. In my mind, this guy just committed a horrendous crime. Um, so eventually, once he was taken to the hospital uh, and treated for his injuries and released. Then Brian's was booked into the county jail on a 13 count complaint, which includes two counts of attempted murder, two counts of child abduction, two counts of child endangerment, making criminal threats and burglary. Brian's pleaded not guilty to the charges. He is being held without bail and is due in court July 22nd for a readiness conference. Court records show his wife filed for divorce from Brian's in April, citing domestic violence. All right, there's a lot of, of different issues floating, uh, not flo but, but surrounding this, this story. Um, Jamie White, let's start first with the, the heroism of, of this police officer getting himself down that cliff and then relying upon prior training that he had. And now he's got to save the children, but he knows he's got a, a father who was trying to kill all three of them. That's a, a precarious position. Unbelievable, Vinny. And um, thank you so much for having this piece on tonight. You know, as an African-American man with three sons, you know, I've been um, engrossed like everybody else over the course of the last six weeks with what's been going on. But I think if we're going to have a real dialogue about change, we have to um, acknowledge that the vast majority of police officers are good people. And Jonathan Weiss is is a hero, um, a true hero. I know we use that word um sometimes a little bit loosely, but, you know, anybody that's ever been trained in, in any sort of water rescue, you know you do not go near drowning people. And, um, you know, he just absolutely did what what heroes do. So thank you for sharing that story. Um, you know, and I guess just as a side note, you know, again, as we're talking about reform, Vinny, this story, I don't know what could have helped this father, but in a broad sense, um, you know, I think this this man's crazy. I mean, he's not crazy, not guilty crazy, but clearly deranged to to act in this manner with his own children. And I just think this highlights that, um, you know, as we talk about reform in our system, you know, we have to um, talk about mental health. You know, I mean, it's 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 a component of our um, system that's been neglected. And, you know, whether or not that could have helped this man, who knows? But it's something that I hope that we can talk about going forward. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge component. I mean, we see it in case after case after case. Uh, and, and where is that line? And, and how can we do things to prevent situations like this? But you're mentioning Jonathan Weiss, the officer. He is the 
current reigning officer of the year in San Diego for his heroism in another case uh, at a wow. synagogue shooting, uh, being the first officer to arrive and going in there and to stop that yeah. shooter. So I think he's going to win back to back, and he should, <laughs> okay? Everyone else should just say, just give it to him now. Um, <laughs> But now let's get to the crim let's get to the criminal case, um, uh, Monica. The criminal case against this father. Um, how does that proceed, and, and what do you think is going to happen? Because Jamie brings up a great point about uh, mental state and everything else. Uh, yeah. But it seemed like he he may have been triggered by, okay, I'm filing for divorce. I don't want to be with you anymore. Yeah, the the whole case is going to come down to his mental stability and whether he has any kind of mental issues. They'll likely have a medical exam and a mental exam right away because his defense attorney will do their job and they'll say, look, he was trying to commit suicide with his two two-year-old twin girls. I mean, that is clearly something that is not normal for a parent to do. So they're going to want to evaluate him and then they're going to go down the road of, did that mental illness affect his ability to make a decision? So was he not in his right mind when he decided to drive off the cliff with them? So that's what the case is really going to focus on because you've got the video right there. Unless they can somehow show that it was a car accident and he didn't do it on purpose, but I believe when he was speaking to the officer afterwards, he said that he was trying to commit suicide with them. So that's going to go against him as well. I think that the actual criminal case, criminal case is kind of open and shut because it sounds like he intended to do it, and we saw the video right there, but it's all going to focus on his mental awareness. And at some point, you know, I, I understand that mental illness and mental health is a very real issue, but every parent that hurts their child ends up using this as a reason, and, and maybe it's true, but... It gets so frustrating uh, in a way. I know this is terrible to say, but in a way, I kind of wish that, you know, the officer wasn't as heroic and maybe left the dad there to, you know, sit in the water and think about it for a while. I know. Is that bad to say? Sorry. but It, it, it is. But no, there's people thinking about that right now. Yeah. And, and one, one decision the officer had to make, though, was he had one child and he had to say, well, if I go save this child and I leave the father with the other child... Mm -hmm. Is, is he going to take her life? So um, it's a real, it was a real issue in the moment yeah. as well. Holly, you know, people who've worked in courthouses, uh, like, like we all have, know that the most volatile of all the courtrooms are the ones dealing with uh, family law issues and divorce and custody because the emotions are so high. You know, the criminal courts, for, for the most part, you know, most criminals kind of understand the way it works. The prosecutor's doing his job. Police are doing a job. You know, I got caught, whatever. But in, in, in family court, emotions run, run high, and things can get dangerous very quickly, like it did here when it was uh, a woman who's saying she's a victim of domestic violence, saying, I don't want to be with you anymore. And, and that was then a trigger. I mean, it's, it's dangerous. It certainly is. And Vinny, how many cases have we set right here and covered on court TV that are family law cases that bleed into criminal or vice versa, criminal cases that bleed into family law? This is a travesty. It is not necessarily deplorable that she said maybe the, the father wouldn't have been rescued. However, this is police of the year. So he definitely went in there and found these two little girls first, pulled them out, and then was acting in auto mode, right? And and recovered the father and was doing his job. And what a fantastic story. What an important story right now to cover. Um, while we don't have any margin of error for police officers to be bad cops versus good cops, what a fantastic story to cover with a fantastic cop. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. When we come back, a story that everyone talking about online, uh, I posted it today involving NASCAR, Bubba Wallace, and the controversy involving the noose or the, the pull rope that was inside his garage bay at Talladega. We'll hear from you, the 13th juror, when we come back. involving NASCAR, Bubba Wallace, and the controversy involving the noose or the, the pull rope that was inside his garage bay at Talladega. 
We'll hear from you, the 13th juror, when we come back.